I'm going to be showing you how to make non-dairy butter today. And the reason for making homemade non-dairy butter is that many of the products that you, you can get at the grocery store contain palm oil. And about a year ago, I learned how bad palm oil was. Um, it's bad for the environment. It's a major cause of climate change. And it's also a leading cause of orangutan extinction because their uh, territory is uh, torn down so these um, palm oil plantations can be planted and then they have nowhere to live. So I had to search around and find a recipe um, that was good for uh, a non-dairy um, butter and I found a wonderful one by Sky Michael Conroy in the Non-Dairy Evolution Cookbook. Um, the recipe is called Better Butter and I will be supplying the ingredient list and the recipe at the end of the video. Um, the recipe calls for a lot of non-traditional items such as lactic acid, uh, which is derived from plants, xanthan gum, which is derived from the fermentation of sugar, and lecithin, which is an emulsifier, and it's from soybeans. So basically, we're going to add most of the dry ingredients plus the soy milk, mix them up a little bit, and then slowly add the, um, the two oils, which are the coconut oil and the soybean oil, which I already have mixed. And after we get it all mixed up, we have two choices on what to do with it. We can put it in a, this is a silicon uh, mold for butter, or you can just put it in a little crock pot, depending on how you want to use it. And after we mix it up, you, we put it in the freezer for about an hour to make it really hard, and then we put it in the refrigerator and we use it. So let's get started. We've got, um, got our soy milk. And you want to use plain soy milk, nothing with um, not flavored or um, sweetened, just plain soy milk. Lactic acid. And you want to have everything measured out before you start. It makes life easy. Uh, this is xanthan gum, sugar, salt, nutritional yeast, which gives it a little bit of color and flavor, and that's it for now. Uh, a tool, one critical tool is an immersion blender, and you might want to time it. This is pretty fast. So, first you're going to mix these things up a little bit. Okay, one, oh, I forgot. Soy, leth soy lecithin powder also goes in. Once you have all your powders in, plus your soy milk, you're going to start adding your oil. It's kind of like making mayonnaise, uh, where you add the oil gradually, you keep beating it until it gets thick. So that's what we're going to do here.
that's it. We've got butter. So now what we want to do, and it it's gotten very thick. Um, you kind of see. And I like to use a little ceramic pot. So I'm going to just pour this into the pot. And we're going to cover it, put it in the freezer, and take it out in about an hour, and we will have butter. And that's it. Thanks for watching.